right guys, let me show you how to make some money. I hope. Legends, what's up? Geelong Flipper here. My name's Tori, your mate from Geelong, Victoria, Australia. The channel, if you haven't uh, subscribed, can you please do so? I, I actually looked it up. I thought that was bullshit when people do it, but 53% of you are not subscribed. Big thank you to everyone who is. Doesn't take long. Subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and you'll find out when I post silly stuff to the internet. Forgive me if I speak a little bit weird. weirdly. There you go. I already fucked that up. I split the top of my lip the other day, and it's healing, but it hurts. But I wanted to do a show and to prove a point. Um, if you're not familiar with the channel, I try to teach you about how to resell on eBay in particular um, and how to do so without having much money. Times are tough and I know this. So basically my take on it is, yeah, I've sold some big ticket items as well, but I do like teaching people about how to sell things that they can source cheaply or free. And in particular, my big love is books. I'm an author. Um, I've written a couple of books. I'll quickly flash them up on the screen. You can buy them on Amazon if you want. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. But that's what my passion is. I write and I also love reselling on eBay. Okay, so the other day, I this video is going to take a little bit longer, but you'll get a bit more content as a result. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I spent. I'm going to do it on camera and then there'll be a bit of jumping backwards and forwards. Um, I didn't spend a lot of money. I'm going to quickly, I, I bought some books, okay? And what I'm going to do is uh, some of the video, you'll see me getting those books on the actual thrift and in others, you won't. So basically, uh, I didn't start recording until the second shop. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to show these peeps, my good friends. If you're getting started and you're stressing about, oh my God, I don't have much money to spend to get started. You don't have to have a lot. As long as you're patient, as long as you're not being greedy initially. Um, everyone talks about return on investment. Oh, my average sale price is... Who cares if you spend a dollar and you get $10, you're $9 ahead, eBay takes their fees, you get the customer to pay for postage. So what, you're ahead. You've just put, maybe bought mince meat that you can start cooking your family a meal. Um, and guys, I know we are all attached to multimedia and we've all got technology and phones and all that sort of stuff. That doesn't mean you got necessarily, some of you might have money to feed your family tonight. So that's my aim. eBay is free to sign up and join. Um, you've got technology at your uh, fingertips, literally with the eBay app and a little bit of knowledge and free YouTube videos like this. And away you go. I do have something I do, exciting news. Um, uh, we've hit that point now on eBay, thanks to, uh, sorry, YouTube, thanks to you guys being so beautiful and following and we get involved. Um, They've allowed me to set up membership platforms and um, whilst all the main key criteria will still be on here, if you do want to become an eBay member, just go ahead and click. There's a couple of tiers um, starting at, I think, $4 a month. And then there's one that's a bit more. Can't remember how much. I didn't plan this very well, did I, to announce it? Because I'm excited by it. It took a lot of work to get to this point, but uh, it seems we've paid off. And then there's a, so there's, you know, the little flip, the mid flip, the grand flip. If you do want, um, one of you guys very kindly suggested, they said if you set up a um, membership, then, you know, maybe I could read my books to you guys. Have something a little bit not reseller directed. So, yeah, if you sign up for the premium tier, I will be reading my books that I write to you on the channel. You better access those videos, you and you alone. That's it. I'm so excited, though, and I never thought this would happen. Um... I'm humbled by it and I'm humbled by the fact that you guys have been good enough to stay with me for this fun little journey that we've been having together. And I'll continue to try to fight the good fight for everyone. Um, I mean that. that That's not something I take lightly. I think life's too short to fuck each other around for, with misinformation. If I make a mistake, I will tell you. Um, don't take everything I say as gospel. I'm not an expert. I'm just someone who's spent a lot of time sort of studying the form guide, listening to others, and trying to apply those things in a um, coherent way that helps everyone. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to show you the books I got. And uh, from there, we're going to... Uh, jump into the video. I'll do a bit of a voiceover because I didn't speak much during the video. And I'm going to be putting up comps. Now I'm going to have to be jump backwards and forwards and I don't like start stopping these videos. So forgive me um, if I show comps more than once for the same book. Uh, forgive me. And just so you know, it, I'm going to title the video how to turn X amount into um, X amount. I'll tally it all up later. And uh, from there, we'll be able to have a bit of fun with it. 
see what sells down the track, but uh, it's going to be based on real results, uh, achievable objectives, and just that you can see that you can do this too, okay? I don't want to hide this knowledge from anyone. There's an, there's more than enough books out there. In fact, op shops don't even take books yet. They sell constantly. Um, so without further ado, let's just get straight into it. I'm going to be leaning over. I've got a pile of books just to my left here. And um, so I was in the, I went to two Salvos thrifts and um, some of their prices are starting to go up too, but this place was quite reasonable. And I said to the gentleman doing the books, doing a great job, I always chat to them, because um, they are, they do a good job. And I said, by any chance, do you have any like science fiction or anything like that out the back? Now, just in case you don't know, science fiction is a massive, massive niche to get into. The paperbacks in particular, the old ones, the sphere books, there's a whole heap of different publishers, Corgi, um, now I am starting to reach over for some of the books that I bought, just so as you are aware. Okay, so, all right. Let's get just get straight into it. Some of these, I, have, I didn't put them in order. It's just bad luck, but, um, so to give you an idea, like old paperback books like this, okay, they do well. So I got it for a dollar. Another dollar. Now, Rudyard Kipling wrote Tarzan. It's an old paperback. These were a dollar. A dollar. This is Frank Herbert who wrote June. It's his first book. Um, and so something that's definitely worth getting. And yeah, it was only a dollar. Okay. Now for horror, this was two bucks. James Herbert, amazing author. Really enjoyed that. Now, these are just some of the ones. Now, the guy asks, because a lot of the op shops, they throw these books out. Um, their book people like books, but they're also under pressure to sell certain things. So these beautiful old paperbacks, they just get turfed. And I have no issue selling these constantly. Um, if you want to go through some of my shorts that I've sold recently, and kids' books sell well. Um, recently, I sold one called uh, Poppy Meets the Orchestra, words to that effect. I bought it for $3. I sold it for 60 It's going over to America. I'm sending it off today. Well, it'll be gone by the time you guys see it. Um, but I did do that on a short. Look out for it. It's a, it's a effing bolo. Okay, Myth, Myth Master. I haven't even heard of it. Don't care. Science fiction. Science fiction, old vintage science fiction. Coronet um, books, they're good. This one was a bit trashed, but the old penguin ones here, there was another dollar though. And yeah, Dark Side of the Moonies. And it was a, it's a book about cults. People like this stuff, guys. I like this stuff. I research like a lot of my like zombie books, um, which I did place there for brand awareness. I did so much research for that book. And I also looked up conspiracy theories, ancient Egypt, zombies, zombie lore. Then I mixed it all up to make like a, they're not scary books. They're um, more comedy zombie books. Um, they're more about friendships than horror, but there's a horrific element. Anyhow, these books sell and they do sell. I sell them constantly. And like I said, even turning a dollar into $10 is worth doing. So once again, this sort of stuff's cool. The old fashioned covers. You gotta remember back then, technology wasn't where it is now. These guys had no idea when it, what this stuff may look like. So the, the stuff that they were doing back then was quite visionary in terms of, oh, imagine what a ray gun might look like, or imagine, you know, stuff like that. It's worth looking at, so. Um, so this is Philip K. Dick, who uh, also wrote Why Androids um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep, which was the working title, what the movie Blade Runner ended up becoming. So Philip K. Dick, very popular. Um, once again, a dollar for this, can't go wrong. And it's funny because he wrote it so long ago, he's writing it in 1981 as though, you know, that's the, that's the future. It's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, it is the follow-up, how we got along after the bomb. Okay. So, another one, those who watch. These things are cool, guys. Keep looking for them. Keep looking for them. Okay. People like to do stuff about self-betterment, how the brain works. Dean Koontz, but that's for me. Sorry, I'm going to read that one. That one.
these are a dollar except for except for this guy here which was two dollars so dollar another dollar frank herbert again culturally significant a dollar battlestar galactica guys so cool a dollar can't go wrong another dollar and finally i um went crazy on the yard and i spent four dollars on this doc martin hardcover book now i comped that just before i uh started the show just to give you an idea this was four dollars and it's got a sales history uh going between 30 to well up to 50 dollars i will probably list it at about i would say 35 plus maybe about 13 dollars postage just because it's a weird size People love Doc Martin shoes. People who really love it, they'll get stuff like this. It's kind of cool. It's got good photos in it. It's well worth getting. You may even still see it up on my eBay store if you're into this sort of thing. Let me know and uh, we can work out a sale. But um, I was excited to find that. It's four bucks. So to give us an idea of how much I actually spent, not including Dean Koontz. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen seventeen nineteen okay twenty three dollars all those books were twenty three dollars now what we're going to do guys is um we're going to be watching the video just a quick little thrifting video just to give you some context of what i may look at when i'm out there and um, as I'm going, I'm going to be posting uh, the comps. And if I can't find that shoe in after I'm done, or is that shoe? I'm looking at Doc Martens. If I can't find that book in the video, like if I just picked it up and didn't film it, then um, retrospectively, I'll go back to what I was holding up just then and I'll put the comp after it. So it's sort of like you're going to be seeing time in reverse, um, but then you'll understand later on. Just bear with me. Okay, so let's go up shopping. I'll talk my way through what happened at the shop. And um, yeah, so now we know the title is How I Turned $23 Into. And straight away, even with that Doc Martin book, I'm already ahead. So you get the idea. Books sell. Books are worth looking for. And for you guys who don't have a lot of money, and I would never make fun because I'm in that position sometimes where you, you're like, I'm trying to spend so much money on getting my books out there. And, you know, I've got, you know responsibilities like we all do sometimes it's nice to know that we can turn 23 bucks into i would i'm going to estimate i'm going to get several hundred dollars out of it so it's worth doing guys it's worth doing you might have room for paperbacks you may not have room for a big toy that will only get you 20 bucks you know it's all about space time and uh, i'm your buddy and i'm here to help you comment below if this stuff is uh helpful please follow please do consider the uh, channel membership um there are perks there. I'll, I mean, the smallest one basically is you just get a badge and, um, you know, there's like priority comment answering and stuff like that. YouTube takes care of that. Um, you'll get your name at the end of the videos and yeah, further up the scale, you'll get my books read to you by me. So if you're annoyed by my voice, I'm sorry, I'll be reading to you. Let's just jump in though. And away we go. Hey legends, let's go up shopping. Yep, to that place. All right, so basically we're checking out some stuff here. Sean White Snowboarding. I always check those ones out just in case they're worth something. The Extreme Sports titles, that one isn't worth anything though. And we made our way through the op shop. I've cut out a lot of the stuff here. There's no point in you watching me essentially doing nothing. So pretty soon you'll just get to a point you see me pick up uh, a book and then I'll show you the comp. And I'll, I'll keep adding to the tally. You can hear construction sound in the background. It's because that's what's happening. So I guess it's bad luck. That one was not worth getting, which really surprised me because I thought it would be. This one was an interesting one. You'll see comps for that in just a second. Check this out. So I did pick that one up because someone paid $14, but they also paid $35 in shipping. And there's that brain one there that I showed you the comp for earlier. Never be put off by these older style uh, paperbacks they're worth money 
Um, people do enjoy collecting them. They often cover weird subject matter and it's certainly worth checking them out if you do see them. All right, Tori, find another book. Oh, here we go. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing anything clever? No, I'm looking at a book that I'm about to put back here. I'll show you. I'll prove it. There we go. Struggle a little bit. Bend the, bend the cover for the next person. Good job. Book vandal. Alrighty. We're about to find more treasure though. Never fear. Okay, so just to let you know, I did not take this book home because inside there were some bits and pieces that I wasn't happy with. But I can tell you right now that that Arthur Miller book, The Crucible, I have sold multiple copies of that in the past, just in better condition than what that one was. Um, it was only $1 there, but a $1 damage book, it's something I'm trying to not do unless these books are highly sought after. Then collectors are happy if there's just a little bit of damage to them. The pickings were sparse, but what I did get was pretty darn decent nonetheless. Now, I did pick that one up earlier. There you go, there's the comp for that one. I'm just going to add that to our tally. Alright, so for anyone who's um, trying to keep up at the moment, we're up to about $312. So the profit margin here is pretty good. The turnover for those books is relatively high. So I'm pretty confident that we are going to do just fine in the long run here. There's the Frank Herbert book. Like I said, that was the first one he'd ever put out. The next book that I do pull out, I'm going to be honest guys, chances are I'm going to read it first, so I don't know when I'll be listing it. So I'm not going to include it to the tally, okay? I will show you the comps for it. Surprisingly, it didn't come up for as much, um, but I still think it's a great book and it'll be a lot of fun to read and that's good for me. All right, guys, I hope that that really helped. Um, I know it's a bit all over the place, but my main thing was... I just want to show you, especially um, there's been a bit of criticism in the online community um, by some of the bigger sellers. Um, it's only happened a few times, but they're like, oh, you know, you're celebrating a 5 or $6 sale. Yes, I am, because I spent 50 cents, and my idea is to teach you guys how eBay might put a loaf of bread on your table that night. Now, you know, people go, well, it's a loaf of bread, so what? Well, if you're really hungry, it's important. But more importantly, for you younger guys out there, who may be saving for first cars or a new computer or something to further your your reseller game um, this can make a huge difference guys every five dollars saved through just a bit of thrifting and reselling it's five bucks that you don't have to make another way you can do it as much as you want whether you want to make a, an income out of it like i do or um, if you simply just want a couple of extra bucks that you can go to the pub with your mates um, if you're of a drinking age, of course, and if you're not, then you may want to buy a new PlayStation game. But, I mean, look on eBay. Some of the games are cheap. In any case, thank you so very much. Um, I hope that was helpful. And um, I've got an interesting uh, topic to cover. Recently, I bought something that was a fake, and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, and it was a very good learning lesson, and it didn't cost me a lot of money. It cost me $25, but... 25 bucks when you're trying to flip stuff around. 25 bucks is a big spend just to find that something isn't quite what you thought it was. Um, let me know your thoughts, feelings, experiences, please. Um, sometimes we'll share them on the channel. Otherwise, you know, everyone reads everyone's comments. We're a great community and best of all, we're all becoming really good friends. So till next time, guys, keep flipping. Hope you're making stacks of cash. And in the meantime, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram and YouTube, of course, and on Facebook, though. Not many people follow me on there. Go figure. Laters.